Welcome back. That's right. It is the DSL Code A. I'm Doe. With me is Mole Trap. We just saw Slayer's Ganji take down Check Prime Wii. And, uh, you know, a pretty close game, too. I mean, Check Prime's going to be kicking himself all the way home yeah. by that one. But let's move on to our next match. This is one that you and I are a little bit divided on, we actually. Are, man. Yeah, because I say, I feel like TSL JYP, I, I think he's strong enough to take this one down. Teja is a very, his opponent, of course, Slayer's Teja, a very strong Terran, a good TV peer. But uh, you know, I've, I'm feeling it for our last Protoss here. I, th I think he's going to take it. The Protoss Messiah is in danger right now, Doa. I'm going to have to disagree with you on that. Um, I here's the thing. Believe. Here's the thing. Okay, <laughs> he, I, granted, he's a solid player. I, he actually impressed me. Uh, last week. I didn't know who he was. I hadn't really seen many of his games. Everyone's like, oh, he's so good. I'm like, alright, well, mm -hmm. let's see. He ha he showed some good stuff. But he also showed some pretty big errors. Some pretty big errors. There were times where he just didn't micro, uh, you know, like he didn't micro his Colossus. He let Hydra's target fire down his Colossus, you know, a couple times. And he still ended up winning that game, but mm -hmm. it's little things like that that are gonna, you know, make you well, slip up. And you know that granted, he did take down Dong Regu, which is a pretty big deal. That's true. But that's true. I don't know. I, I just I'm not feeling it from him. I haven't, I'm not quite impressed yet. And you always point out that it takes a lot to impress me. That's true. I but, guess so. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but let me uh, let me drop some stats. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Bring on the stats. All right. Bring on the stats. <laughs> let me drop some stats on you again. Uh, Tasia. Yeah. 71% win rate, 10 and 4 against Protoss. That's okay. pretty good. Okay, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty actually good. damn good. And uh, JYP, 33% against Terran. Doesn't matter. 6 and 12. Not very good at all. <laughs> well, Doesn't we'll matter. You know, it might not matter. To be honest with you, it might not matter. That's right. The liquid bets are on the line. And here's Slayer's Teja over on the left side of the GSL studio, spawning as the human in the blue shirt. <laughs> human. That's right. There we can see Blue he beat MVP set. Tails and FXO SC. I was actually pretty surprised by that. That's part of why I'm rooting for Tasia here as well. Really impressed me beating SC, who's a very strong TV tier. Yeah. And so. you know, I mean, he beat Tails, but and Tails is a Protoss, but Tails is not a very strong Protoss yet. You know, he got in the code A. But I feel like that was kind of an easy win for him. I think JYP is going to be a much bigger challenge. The only thing that I, I, JYP kind of has going for him in his favor is, you know, he lost recently to Ryung, to Jokji, to the STC, um, which are good Terrans, but not the top level of the Terrans. He did meet Marine King in the LG Cinema Tournament. Yes, he did. That's true. And here he is, TSL JYP. And um, you know, I feel like TSL started. It's it's a, kind of become a house for strong Protoss players. We've got Killer, of course. We've got JYP. We had Trickster until recently. Um, you know, they, they seem to be good at producing good Protoss players. And uh, and here's another one right here. I mean, yeah. he did take down Dong Ray Gu two one. A lot of people were surprised about that result. Uh, but with Dong Ray Gu, you know, there was a lot of fan favoritism. But in terms of actual you know productivity from his side of things. You know, how much is there really for Dong Regu yet? He's very good, True. but, you know, he doesn't quite have the results yet. I think we're going to see him back. Well, he did well, win the, uh, the 3D tournament. He won the LG Cinema 3D tournament. That's true. He did beat SC in that one. Yeah. Uh, here's, here's our maps for today. Go ahead and introduce those for us, Moltra. Yeah, Zelnaga Fortress is going to start us off. And we're already in the game lobby, as a matter of fact. So it's not a mistake. Zelnaga Fortress. Yep. I don't know why I had to point out it huh? was a mistake. Uh, um, <laughs> and actually, the countdown has begun. Antigua Shipyard is going to be map number two, and here are the eliminated maps. Tasia did not want to play on Tolerium Altar. JYP didn't want to play on Bell Shear. And you know what that means, Moltrap? What? We get to see a game on Daybreak, our newest oh, map. Yeah. I can't wait. I love Daybreak. If, if, if it gets to game, game three. three. Yeah, if it does. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started in game one. Will the stats prove that Tasia is the winner, or will JYP get revenge? I don't know. Revenge for his loss to Tasia in another league. Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Terran versus Protop, Moltrap versus Doa. Down <laughs> at the bottom of the map, it's our red Terran from the Team Slayers. I've got nothing against this guy. I actually really like him a lot. He is known as... Slayer's Tidja! Used now, to be from the Team Zenex. Uh, to be fair, 
Uh -huh. Stats aren't everything. You're right. And part of why I say that is because, because Tasia hasn't beaten very good Protoss players yet. Up at the top of the map is our blue Protoss player from the team TSL. He is. TSA JYP. Sorry, I was trying to sneak that in there and still give you time <laughs> for an intro. I tried to segue out of it. It's all good. Yeah, you did well. We worked well. together. Thank you. Yeah, he's beaten a lot of Protoss players, but he hasn't really beaten anyone too good yet. So maybe we haven't really seen a test of Tejas. Yeah. First Protoss skills. But like I mentioned uh, for a moment there, they actually played in an iCup uh, weekly tournament mm -hmm. um, last month, about a month ago, and it was 2 1. And Tasia beat him 2 1. So, uh, ah, a bit of a vengeance match here for JYP, who then went on to win, uh, I believe, the next current, uh, iCup tournament after that. So, very cool. Yeah, we've got a couple of those. Uh, Winners from those tournaments in yeah. the, uh, Code A. Now, Jock G is another example of that. Yeah. Um, or at least he did very well anyway. Looks like it's going to be a, a pretty standard opening from JYP um, and from Teja as well. We're looking at Teja's base right now. My question is, is uh, I, I'm really curious to see how Teja's going to open. Um, I don't know. I, I usually kind of find myself siding more towards the Terran players because it's a race I play. But Switch from Zerga. What? And that SCV, man. Oh. Taking some punishment from that probe. Why can't you just let him build a building in peace? Probe jerk. This is war. All's fair in love and war, but construction is a different story, Moltrap. All's fair in love and war, but yeah. all is not fair in the construction industry. That's right. Obviously not love between the SCV and that probe right there. Nope. Nor between the Marine and the probe. No. Maybe tough love. I don't know. And JYP is going to go ahead and Chrono Boost out his Warp Gate research. Yeah, how much Chrono Boost does he have on he that? He has a right lot now? of Chrono Well, he's, well got, he's got one more Chrono Boost. Yeah. So not really saving up or anything like that. You know, he does have his two gas. Well, he, uh, he actually had a few saved up. He used one on the Warp Gate, one on his Stalker, and yep. now it's just another on the Warp Gate. So pretty so normal stuff there. Stalker. There's actually a pylon on the right side of the map. And I wonder if we're possibly going to see a huh. proxy Stargate there or something like that. Um, It'd be a good spot for it. Yeah. Now, JYP looks like most likely, judging from the reactor going down the barracks and the factory being produced, um, there might be a pretty good chance that he's going to go for that Marine Tank Banshee play that we see a lot of Terrans doing lately. But well, no, switching the factory with the reactor. Yeah, he actually put right. the reactor on the factory. Interesting. And he's going to start producing Hellions. Yeah. Which is very interesting. Now, here's the thing. Hellions, reactor Hellions can be very good against Zealots, against probes, against sentries, but not against stalkers, that was which are the good bunker time unit well. of choice for Protoss. So a little bit of an interesting idea there. It may just be to try and harass probes. Well, the nice thing about Hellions in TVP is that if you can get them into your opponent's base, they're relatively tough to track down by the early Protoss units. Yeah. And I, I feel like Hellions in TVP is something that actually hasn't been explored as much as it could be. So, I mean, now that people are using Hellions so much in TVZ and TVT, wouldn't be surprised at all to see TVP, you know, start to show some more Hellions as well. Um, looks like he's going to make that last Hellion and switch it back over again. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what he's going to use those for. If he's going to try to sneak into the base and do damage, there's not really a whole lot out to stop him right there now for JYP. Getting some more gateways, and he's got a Twilight Council almost Oh, look at that. Killing the Stalker wow. out in the map. Nice micro, keeping those Hellions alive. And he's going to buy Stalker. Polish it off. Oh, and goodbye Zealot. Wow. Actually, these Hellions yeah. do it a lot because there just weren't very many Protoss units. And Pretty much, he could do some. Da well, the no, stalkers he's not are going past off. those two stalkers. I don't think. Yep, he Can knows it right away. Turn around. I actually watched QXC play a game the other day. Did you watch that one um, with the reactor and Hellions? I no, I don't think I saw that one. He played against a random player, and he just was like completely messing around, huh. wasn't taking it seriously at all, and went for just like a reactor three, a three three Hellion oh. build where he went two factories. He had a reactor on one of them. Interesting. And built a bunch of Hellions. You know what else is interesting? What's this? What else? JYP is actually going for Blink. Um, which is something that you don't see very often in TVP, those Blink timings. Huh. Yeah, this will be really interesting to see how this works. He's going to be able to shoot from the low ground, obviously. For a second, it looked like 
the JYP had scanned to get the high ground vision. I was like, yeah, I know. that's <laughs> not, that doesn't make sense. He just going to scoot up the ramp a little bit. And he will have an observer out. And this is really what makes Stalker so dangerous. Siege mode is not finished yet. So if he can blink in there, he can kill a lot of SCVs and potentially just get away. Oh, is he going to focus down the bunker? Oh, no, he needs to get the there SCVs on the bunker. He's just going to let it go, actually. The SCVs yep. go a little bit too late. Well, there are two tanks, though, so he's going to be okay. Siege mode is going to finish right about now. And uh, that actually is going to make it much, much harder for those Link Stalkers to get in there. Anyway, point being, uh, QXC won because the other guy wasn't prepared for, like, oh. 10 Hellions to come in his base, kill every probe. But oh, hold that up on the front of the base! He does blink yeah. in, trying to go for the all-out assault. All of his Stalkers are able to fire since he's blunked so close. Yep. And the bunker is not quite up yet. The Marines are still alive, though, driving back those Stalkers. Yeah, he did kill both of those tanks, which is kind of nice. And now he is going to be able to warp in more Stalkers and continue to put the pressure on. And, you know, if all the tanks get weeded out, that's going to make it pretty tough for Teja to hold this. But for now, um, JYP does need to pull back. He's Ooh. going to try to blink up on the high ground here, it looks At like. At the back of Teja's base. Yeah, he's preparing to blink into the back. He's going to warp in units as well. Warping yep. in some Zealots to accompany. There he goes. Focusing down the refinery. Wants to cut that tank production. And he's going to oh, kill it. Oh, no. He blinks in to oh, get the yeah. tank. He picks it off. Nice and falls job back. There. Zealots doing damage as well. Yeah, did a good job using those Zealots to buffer the damage. So Stalker's been blinking. He needs to be very careful here. That's a lot of Marines. He might actually just lose all of these Stalkers if he's not careful. Yeah, some decent actually, blink micro. Wow, very good blink Holding him out long time, but just barely. Really makes it efficient. Probably wants to pick up that last Marine, blinking a few more Stalkers in there. Wow. And yeah, nice, nice move oh, warping no. in. Oh, no. Doesn't have blink. Oh, wow. Yeah, the cooldown didn't quite work out for him there. And uh, at the end of the day, Tasia comes out of the dust with 46 supply compared to JYP's 31, now up to 35. Yeah, so both of these players Tasia really coming out ahead there. Out. Just yeah. barely. Pylon's going to die to a landed Viking. That doesn't happen very often. No. Um, nice move there. Very, very nicely done by JYP. Well executed. Yeah. Did not do enough damage, though. Didn't get any workers, critically. Didn't even get that refinery. Well, it's interesting to see kind of how JYP has had to change things around. You know, it looked like he wanted to go for that marine tank, you know, Banshee style. But now he's added on a second barracks. He's actually putting a reactor in a starport. And he's getting slow stem and marauders. So he's actually had to kind of switch more into bio. Of course, it's going to be very, very good. I guess with JYP has oh, to no. take another tank. Nice. Get the tank. Loses his stalker. Yep. Or two. Might kill a couple Marines here, it looks like. Yep. Nice. Gonna pull back before they take any more damage. So a tank for a Stalker. A little bit better trade for uh, for JYP than for Teja there, but... How did they get in there? kill a couple Marines. Is um, there an Observer there yeah, that he killed? Yeah, there's Observers all over the place. Okay. I think he's got two right now, possibly. I don't know, man. Let's find out. Hit the button. He's got one. One Observer on the map. All right. Might have lost the scan. Um, and this is, is this Viking going to land and try to kill any probes? Nope, just kind of scouting around. Scouting around. Yep. And uh, here's the thing is that... And actually got caught by some things on here. Oh, wow. Now, Tage is taking his expansion, and JYP really hasn't yet. He's yeah. just kind of gearing up for one big last massive push, and he there needs to make this work. Um, you know, he's beyond all in at this point. So if this doesn't work, I think it's going to be the end of the game for JYP. But Teja doesn't have a whole lot right now, just a couple siege tanks. It all depends on the unit control right now. Teja is, and of course, at oh, 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 he gets that medevac. Oh, he units. doesn't see it. Oh, I can't oh, believe it. The tanks on the high ground there. are going to do so much damage. Yeah, I don't even know if he noticed that medevac at all. Wow, that is the luckiest medevac in the history of StarCraft II. Yeah, man. He could have easily just blinked over and man. picked off the medevac. That would have been huge. Yeah. Would have been a lot of supply. Tasia though, forced up his ramp again. Yep. And Tasia is almost mined out. Some of his patches only have 75 minerals left. And here we go. Is he going to... Oh, nice. Using the command center to kind of distract the stalkers. Blinking ahead, but not up on the high ground. And I think Tasia's going to hold this no problem right now. Yeah, he does hold it pretty well. He blinks in for one last effort. Yep. The SCVs, though, are repairing the it. bunker. GG coming from JYP. Tasia takes... Game one. Yeah, it was a very risky thing that JYP did. Teja held it very well, changed up what he was doing to defend it. 
quite well, and, and um, uh, yeah, Tate has been playing impressively. I think at the end there, once he'd taken over Tasia's expansion, uh -huh. I think it might have been better for JYP to just chill there and contain him because Tasia was going to be mined out in literally a minute and a half. Uh -huh. Literally a minute and a half, at which point uh, JYP can, even with distance mining, he can close the supply gap and gain yeah. an advantage there. If he'd done that, I mean, obviously, if he wins that attack, he still wins the game, uh -huh. but he didn't really need to go up that ramp against bunkers and SCVs yeah. and siege tanks and all that kind of thing, and he also didn't uh, target fire the SCVs repairing the bunkers, so mm -hmm. the Zealots didn't do any good in that battle. Yeah, I mean, um, that's, that's the thing. It's just so hard to push up a ramp like that. Yeah. Um, you know, he decided to go Blink Stalkers in TVP, which is, is not a terribly popular choice these days. I think it was a good map for it. I think Zelnaga Fortress is a great map for it Blink was, Stalkers. Yeah, it was an interesting um, strat. But yeah, it just didn't work out. Jay, uh, Teja defended it too well. So, I don't know. The second game is going to be an Antigua Shipyard. And we, we can't really say a whole lot about which race tends to do better on this map yet because it is so new. Yeah. I tend to think maybe you could say Terran is a little bit more favored on this map just because of, of some of the positioning here, some of the things you can do with tanks. That's not as big of a, a deal in uh, TVP. But I don't know. I, I'm always interested to see some games on our new maps, and I think Antigua Shipyard is easily the best out of the new ladder maps to bring into the GSL. Yeah, and it's interesting yeah. you mentioned the tanks because we actually saw Tasia here a little bit unorthodox. You know, usually you see mostly Bio against Protoss. Mm -hmm. Um but in this case, Teja actually using those siege tanks for positioning instead and adding those into the mix and uh, worked very, very well for him. Yeah, he kind of, uh, it seemed like he wanted to go for that you know, tank marine banshee early on and then had to kind of switch things up to something that was a little bit more effective against uh, Blink Stalkers, which yep. is kind of, you know, why he made that change. Let's and so it kind of had a weird unit composition, but it, it worked out for him. You know, he just made what it took to defend and... We're going to find out if Tasia will make ships on the Antigua shipyards or if he'll stick with tanks and bio here in just a moment at the GSL. Let's see if he can close out the series or can JYP come back and tie it up.